Hi there and welcome to our next VIT, very important term, the free soil movement. Here's your definition. A short-lived and minor but influential political party based on the goal of preventing the extension of slavery into the Western territories gained from the Mexican-American War. So to put this into context, we're talking about the antebellum years here, especially the 1840s and early 1850s. So some northern opinions were gradually turning against slavery, but abolitionists, those who are morally and ethically opposed to the, um, uh, the system of slavery as a whole, they were still in a minority. So economic arguments, more of an anti-slavery argument, were more prominent. And so they viewed the system of slavery as a, um, as a comp that there was competition between poor white laborers and enslaved Africans. And so what they advocated for was a ban on the extension of slavery. So after the Mexican-American War and those lands gained from that war, the Mexican cession um, became part of the United States, there were significant arguments over whether slavery should extend into those territories or not. So the Free Soil Movement became part of two main political parties, or two, I should say, third parties, the Liberty Party and the Free Soil Party. The Free Soil Party actually ran candidates in both the 1848 and 1852 elections, but did not earn any electoral votes. So as I mentioned, they're largely focused on the single issue of, ex of opposing the expansion of slavery and leaving Western territories for whites only. Now, the reason why this party does not continue really past the 1852 election is that their supporters merge with the larger Republican Party in 1854. So here would be a political cartoon about, it's called Forcing Slavery Down the Throat of a Free Soiler. And so it's demonstrating the Republican attitudes against slavery and how Democrats were forcing the issue of slavery, um, that expansion of slavery, um, down their throats. So what is the significance of this party? It demonstrated the growing opposition to slavery in those antebellum years. It provided an alternative to abolitionism, so people who weren't necessarily morally or ethically opposed to it could still oppose the expansion. It ends up leading to uh, participation in the Bleeding Kansas conflict, and eventually that platform will be adopted by the Republican Party. So I hope that quick video helped you better understand the Free Soil Movement. If so, please like and subscribe.